rights, but today there are millions of people who gained health insurance from Obamacare, and they now rely on it. So the question, Senator Cruz, if you repeal Obamacare, as you say you will, mm -hmm. will you be fine if millions of those people don't have health insurance? And what is your specific plan for covering the uninsured? Sure. Well, let's take it one at a time. First of all, we have seen now in six years of Obamacare that it's been a disaster. It is the biggest job killer in this country. Millions of Americans have lost their jobs, have been forced into part-time work, have lost their health insurance, have lost their doctors, have seen their premiums skyrocket. If I am elected president, we will repeal every word of Obamacare. Now, once that is done, everyone agrees we need health care reform. It should follow the principles of expanding competition, empowering patients, and keeping government from getting in between us and our doctors. Three specific reforms that reflect those principles. Number one, we should allow people to purchase health insurance across state lines. That'll create a true 50-state national marketplace which will drive down the cost of low-cost, catastrophic health insurance. Number two, we should expand health savings accounts so people can save in a tax-advantaged way for more routine health care needs. And number three, we should work to de-link health insurance from employment so if you lose your job, your health insurance goes with you and it is personal, portable, and affordable. And I'll tell you, Brad, I think that's a much more attractive vision for health care than the Washington-driven, top-down Obamacare that is causing so many millions of people to hurt. Senator Cruz, thank you. Governor